Uh, here's another scientific one for you guys. They found a correlation between brain size and yawning. Isn't that an interesting one? They studied a bunch of creatures, mammals. They tried to determine, and bird species. Mm. They tried to determine what's going on with these yawns. And they were able to map uh, brain size, not necessarily intelligence, though sometimes I think there have been connections and correlations between brain size and intelligence. But that's not what they were looking for here. Just brain size and uh, yawning and the length of time that the yawn takes. Now, before you scroll down, Will, do you want to take a guess how long the human yawn is? Uh, five seconds. Okay. 6.5 seconds. Oh, okay. Human yawn. That seems long. No, there's buildup. <gasps> yeah, I think it counts. Yeah. The build it's also part, weird. Yeah. How, it's also weird how yawns are contagious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Long guy yawns, you're yawning. Hold yeah, it's count. a weird thing. Researchers collected data on 1,291 separate yawns from zoo trips and online videos covering a total of 55 man mammal species, 46 bird species, and found robust positive correlations between how long an animal yawns for and it's the size of its brain. So birds don't need to yawn as long. Mm. As an example, there, they. Uh, They don't need that cool air mm -hmm. as much. Where is it? It says something in here. Pattern of yawning is fixed. Its duration has co-evolved with brain size and neuron numbers. Analysis was set up to test a hypothesis from 2007. Bigger brains need longer yawns to properly cool them down. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> so now we got cool air going in there. Birds have a higher core temperature than mammals, which means a greater temperature difference with the surrounding air, so a shorter yawn is enough to drag in some cool air. I didn't even know birds yawned. It's the first time I ever heard such a thing. I guess they do. And they did another one with mammals all the way down to mice. A mouse has a 0.8 second yawn, and the human's in there at 6.5, mm. getting all that cool air in there for that big brain. What about the undersea animals wow. you think whales yawn <laughs> well a whale's got a blowhole yeah so can a blowhole yawn <laughs> <laughs> i mean i guess it could if you try hard i don't know i don't know i mean i guess they're 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 pushing and pulling oh, in on. air let's it's just ask google here it would look gross. Does a whale yawn? Yawning blowhole. Among, uh, uh, whales and dolphins do not, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, they got a whole different structure going on. <laughs> yeah. How dare you, Will, by the way. Well, still, the Smithsonian had to address it. How yeah, about this one here? was asking. Yeah. Come on now. Well, yeah, it was you. Well... No, I mean, it, 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 it depends on what you think of what a yawn actually is. Like, for me, it's the act of opening one's mouth and inhaling a ton of air. Mm -hmm. So the makeup of a whale, it might even be called something different if they did it. Sure, yeah. Because they're not using their mouth for that. A water yawn. They got the, they got the blowhole going on. Yeah. So weird, you know. Or like a shark. It's kind of cool, though, really. The blowhole, like, you're breathing from your back so you can stay underwater. Like, it's... Mm -hmm, wow. Yeah. Wow. Imagine, how, like, how much evolution you need for a breathing hole in your back. Mm -hmm. It's wild. It's pretty... Well, I guess it was before. I guess whale's been around for a while. This happened a, this happened a long time ago. 